Hi, welcome to another Brush and Balkan video. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint the Biologus Putrefier. Okay, so like the plague surgeon from last time, I still haven't picked up a white spray paint, so I've had to use the Zandri dust again. But as I say, it doesn't make that much difference when you're just using that as an undercoat. So we're going to start off with the Russian uniform World War II, and again, we are going to do all the base colours before we do the shading. Okay, we're going to carry on with the greens, and then once it's all finished, we'll come back to the next colour. So the next layer that we're going to be doing is Vallejo Model Air Rust. We're going to apply this to all the areas that we want to look like a kind of brass colour. Okay, and when we come back, we'll have all the rust done. The next colour that we're going to be doing is Vallejo Model Air Steel. And that's going to be going over all the metallic kind of areas on it. When we come back to the model, all the steel will be done. We're just going to use Vallejo Basic Skin Tone. I'm going to use that to paint up the corpse head, which is hanging from his back. Like so. I'm just going to use a little bit of Citadel Zerius Purple just to paint all the tentacles that are sprouting out through his armour. When we come back, all of the tentacles will be painted. Next colour we're going to be using is Rakar Flesh. I'm just going to use these on the spines that hold all the balls. So finish off this and then when we come back all the Rakar flesh will be done. Okay next we're going to be doing the shades. We're going to be using a Grax Earth shade on all the brass, Seraphim Sepia and all the arm armour, Reichland flesh shade on the tubing and the flesh parts and we're going to be using a little bit of Null Oil on all the silvers. Also Seraphim Sepia on the green of the shoulder pads and on the loincloth. Okay, we'll finish off all these shades and then we'll come back and crack on with the next set of colours. I'm just going to use a little bit of Citadel Lead Belcher. I'm going to use that to do the inside of where the arm is peeled away. Okay, when we come back to them, all of these parts will be done. Now we're just going to use a mix of white and Citadel U Shabti Bone. I'm just going to paint all the armour plates with that. I'm just going to finish this off and when we come back all the armour will be painted. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing 
We're going to be using a bit of seraphim sepia just to put on the first part of the weathering on his armour. For the most part we're going to be trying to ignore these burn marks and openings on his armour. We're just going to stick to doing the actual weathering. Okay, when we come back to this, all of the sepia should be done. Next we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Agrax Earthshade and we're just going to be doing little streaks of corrosion on his armour. Okay, when we come back to this, all of the Agrax Earth Shade will be done. Next thing that we're going to do is just add a little bit of null oil to do a few little runs on the armour. When we come back to this, all the null nails will be done. Now the next thing that we're going to be working on is the runs and damage like these parts here. Practiced on a little area, a few different weathers are doing it, and I've decided that I'm going to be doing this one. So we'll start off doing that, and the first thing that we're going to be using is Lamenta's Yellow Glaze. When we come back, all the glaze will be put on. The next colour we're going to be using is Vallejo Model Colour Burnt Umber. We're just going to be doing the area around the very edge, like the lip that goes around each of the melted spots. come back all that should be finished. The next part we're going to add is we're going to use a little bit of Eglon Sunset mixed with white. It's almost the same colour as I use for the pustules and stuff and we're just going to do that inside all of these little burn marks on his armour. Okay, so when we come back to this, we'll have all these little bits done. The next thing that we're going to do is going to use a bit of Citadel Seraphim Sepia. We're just going to darken up where the yellow is around the edges here, so it's not quite a stark contrast between the dark brown and the yellow. When we come back, all that will be done. I'm just going to be using a little bit of a Grax Earth shade, and this is just to do a sort of a discoloration above where the burns are, as though the acid or the, the chemicals or whatever he's been using to burn those holes has left carbonation or discoloration from the smoke from it. We'll just finish off these bits quickly and when we come back we'll go on to the next step. We're just going to be using a little bit of Citadel Null Oil and for that we're just going to be doing these little smaller pock marks, giving them a little dab of this just to make them stand out just a little bit more. We 
when we come back all of those will be done. So we can use a little bit of nickel oxide on the bronze areas of the model to give it a corroded oxidised look. When we come back, all this will be finished. Now I'm just going to add a few little bits of typhus corrosion, citel colour, and also on top of that we're going to use a little bit of riser rust, just to give it the orange. Like so. We're going to be using a little bit of Gene Steeler purple, the Citadel colour, and that is going to be to highlight the tentacles. Gonna use a little bit of Emperor's Children just to add a few fine little highlights to the tentacles. There we go. Next we're going to be using Vallejo light green, we're just going to do the lenses on his helmet. Next we're going to add a tiny highlight to the lenses, it's a mix of light green and Vallejo white. a little bit more white, try that again, with a final little highlight there. I'm going to use a tiny spot of white at the top of each lens, like so. I'm going to use a little bit of Ricard Flesh just to paint up these bony bits here with all the bottles attached to. When we come back, we'll have all of these done. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of Ushabti bone to highlight these bony growths on the back here. There we go. One final thing we're going to add is just a little bit of red infection to the tubes going around his body. I've just added a few of the little yellow pustules to the back here. Just used a mix of white and Avalon Sunset to the mix that we used before for the inside of the burns. And now the next thing that we're going to do is use a little bit of Vallejo Beige Brown. We're just going to do all the strings and the leather bits around the bottles.
Okay, so when we come back, all the leather straps and the strings will be painted. Okay, all we're going to be doing now is where we've done the leather straps and the strings, we're just going to be using Citadel Agrax Earth Shade to get some shading into the recesses. We come back all those will be finished right now you may notice midway through this video that three of the bottles or two of the bottles and his gun got painted like that and that was from the glass bottles video that I posted last week so what we're going to do is we're going to show how to paint one of the bottles here and then I refer back to this video to paint the rest of them because it will take ages to do all these bottles so I'm going to be using Aramon blue for the liquid in the bottle So when we come back, all this colour will be done. Right, next is a very quick one. I'm going to add a little bit of Gilliam and Blue Glaze. I'm just going to add this to the very edges where the blue touches a ridge. There we go. Now I'm just going to use a touch of a bad and black to paint the bottle. come back this bottle should all be painted. The next thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of white to some of the aramon blue. Let's get a nice highlight on that. thing we're going to be doing is using a bit of white just to add some highlights to the bottle. Like so. Okay, the only thing, other thing we're going to do to this bottle that we've painted is use Citadel Hard Coat Gloss Varnish and we are going to paint the bottle with that to give it a good shine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint up the rest of the bottles. Okay, the final thing that we're going to work on is the corpse head hanging on the back and we're just going to give that another layer of Ricard flesh. We'll just finish that off and then we'll come back on to the next part. Between cuts there, I've used beige brown and a mix of white, the same thing that I've used for the other corks. I've used that on the cork in his mouth. I've used beige brown for the string going around his face there, and also I've done his eyes with white black spot of bad and black, and then just done a slight white wash to make them look a bit roomy. Now I'm just going to use on his neck, where it's had a little bit of a fist on red put on, we're just going to use Duty Violet to give that a wash. Then we're going to use Citadel Carrowberg Crimson, just to do some of the other areas on it.
you have it. The finished biologist putrefy. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have and you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to another Brush and Bulk Bum video. 